Today I'm in Beaumont, Texas, and I will be visiting Forest Lawn Memorial Park and the Oak Bluff Memorial Park. My first stop is at Forest Lawn, which is a rather large cemetery located in a residential neighborhood northeast of downtown Beaumont, Texas. Here we will be visiting the grave of a rock and roll star and one of the greatest female athletes of all times. Entering the cemetery off of Pine Street, we bear to the right and proceed to the very back of the cemetery. Eventually, we will see a Texas historical marker directly in front of us. This historical marker is at the grave of J.P. Richardson, better known as the Big Bopper. As you visit cemeteries throughout Texas, you will find many graves of notable Texans are marked by historical markers erected by the Texas Historical Commission or other sponsoring agencies. This makes it really easy to locate the graves of many famous Texans. I wish other states would invest and promote their history like the state of Texas does. J.P. Richardson is best known for his hit song, Chantilly Lace. In the winter of 1959, the Big Bopper, as he was known, joined Richie Valens, Buddy Holly, and some other stars on a rock and roll tour of the Midwest. On February 2, 1959, the group performed at the Surf Ballroom in Clear Lake, Iowa. After the show, Valens, Holly, and Richardson boarded a small plane at the Mason City Airport. Shortly after takeoff, the small Beechcraft Bonanza crashed in a cornfield some eight miles from the airport there were no survivors. Leaving the grave of the Big Bopper, I make my way to the traffic circle at the center of the cemetery. Here, in the circle, we find another Texas historical marker and the grave of Babe Zaharias. Babe Zaharis was a multi-sport athlete in the early 20th century. She excelled in several sports including golf, basketball, baseball, and track and field. She won two track and field gold medals in the 1932 Summer Olympics. Later she became a renowned golf professional winning 10 major championships including the 1948, 1950, and 1954 United States Open. In 1953, Babe was diagnosed with colon cancer. She battled the disease for almost three years before losing her battle on September 27, 1956. Perhaps the greatest female athlete of the 20th century is resting here in her hometown of Beaumont, Texas. Completing my visit to Forest Lawn, I traveled about seven miles across town to the Oak Bluff Memorial Park. In the center of the cemetery, near the mausoleum, we find another Texas historical marker, this one near the grave of Woodward Maurice Ritter, better known to country music fans as Tex. Tex Ritter was one of the great country music singers and western actors from the 1930s through the 1960s. He is also the father of actor John Ritter who starred in the hit TV series Three's Company. Tex Ritter's country music hits include the song High Noon, which he recorded for the movie by the same name. In 1953, High Noon and Tex Ritter won an Academy Award for Best Song. Later in his career, he was a founding member of the Country Music Association and was instrumental in establishing and building the Country Music Hall of Fame. 
In 1964, he became the fifth person inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame and was the first of the Singing Cowboys. From Beaumont, I made my way into the city of Houston, where I made a quick stop at Glenwood Cemetery. I say a quick stop because if you plan to visit this cemetery, be forewarned that security is very tight. During my 30-minute visit, I was being watched constantly by the security guard in a pickup truck. My only stop here in Glenwood Cemetery was at the grave of eccentric businessman Howard Hughes. He became well known in Hollywood by producing such films as The Racket, Hell's Angels, and Scarface. In 1932, he formed Hughes Aircraft Company, where he personally set a number of airspeed records. He also developed and built the H-4 Hercules, which is better known as the Spruce Goose. Throughout his life, he was very reclusive, and even in later years, he was seldom seen in public. Howard Hughes died on April 5, 1976, and is buried here next to his parents. This concludes my visit to the Beaumont and Houston, Texas area. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up below. And if you want to keep up with my travels, please consider subscribing. Until next time, thanks for watching.